October 2019, a pocket box. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Matt here, Common Fame Survival. We got a pocket box this month, and uh, let's tear into it. I peeked in it already, so I kind of have a rough idea of what we have. Kind of, sort of, I didn't look, really look at everything real closely, so let's get it, go ahead and do that. Um, this is the uh, pocket box Nikto Seareed box. Nikto, Nikto. Not 100% sure to how to say that, but uh, yeah, this is a pretty interesting box. Uh, we'll save that one for the end. We'll start out with this. This is the uh, pocket box sling reel. This is an exclusive hunting and fishing kit, and it's kind of your skills challenge. So, in here we have this. It's kind of a rough, unfinished piece of wood. And we have, we've got this, a rubber band, and a smaller rubber band, and the bag. Well, no, there's another rubber band in there. Another one. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. And then I do believe we got, because well, that's a pretty nice heavy duty little carrying bag for it. And we got some shot here. And I don't know if this is the instructions or it's got a link down there for the instructions. So, and I just tore it back. All right. Let's see. No, it's just an advertisement for Simple Shot and their line of different, all their different slingshots and bands and everything else so just a place i think they could buy more bands ammo or another slingshot if you want it now if i get this correct this is kind of a neat little item i i'm kind of or skills challenge i could say you got to finish this yourself and everything but really what this is i mean you're going to sand it down probably like i said haven't watched the video haven't looked at anything but it's pretty much slingshot and then this is a reel for your fishing line and i imagine the bands band would be to hold your fishing line on there i'm imagining like i said i'm not 100 sure and then you know your slingshot bands would go there so really all you have to do is some woodworking whittling filing it down routering you know finishing however you want to do it but uh yeah it's kind of a kind of a neat I'm actually surprised no one's ever thought of this before. Maybe they have, but I've never seen it. It's a neat idea for something that's compact because you've got a hand fishing, you know, line, real line, you know, and then you got a slingshot on top of that. And I'm not 100% sure you might even be able to sling fish with this, you know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I know it wouldn't feed off because you wouldn't be able to do it like that and that would let it feed off a little bit better but it's kind of a neat little compact thing i like that skills challenge it's pretty neat pretty freaking neat i like it you know a lot of times you know the last couple boxes we've had were make a handle let's stick this in there <clears throat> make a handle for you know the tomahawk head or that tool or so i mean not bad you know it's not bad at all I like it. Uh, it's unique, that's for sure. And then next we have, looks like we get a little sample of some food, some trail food. It's Avalanche Swiss Granola. Per perfect size for a snap fit in your Nikto Tactile Sea Rig, which is, we'll get to that last. Like I said, I haven't even opened that yet. And that's pretty freaking sweet, but it's just uh, add milk into the bag. And, uh, yeah, just like GMO free, it's organic, just Swiss granola and red berries. So, yeah, not bad. Not a nice little sample thing. So, not bad at all. Uh, next we got the Apocalypse Box Skeeter Head Net. Skeeter Head Net. 
And uh, I usually do, when I'm out, I do carry one of these. Not particularly like this one. But it's just your basic little head net. And if you're wearing a hat, head and neck goes down in here and it goes over your face. Keep the bugs off you. So, yeah. Handy, nifty little item. I mean, honestly, not much of a value there in that. That's got little wood flakes all over everything now. You know, a couple dollars really for something like that. That's not, it's not nothing mind boggling. So, yeah, not bad. And then we got uh, field notes. This is a black notebook, 48 page, 48 page memo book, durable materials made in the USA. It's just a, just your basic little field notes and it's got reference guide on the inside. And uh, not much. And you got scale, just little, little references on the uh, back side of it. So just a little couple dollar field note. So not bad, you know, a couple dollars for that, a couple dollars for that. So. Not real big value items, but that leads us to the last item, which is pretty freaking cool. I, ne I actually never expected to get anything like this in a pocket box. I mean, it fits, it definitely fits, but pretty, pretty neat. It's a C rig, I guess you say, also a chest rig, but yeah. Got to, I do believe, yeah, that's the waist belt. Not a bad little item here. It's got a inside pocket on the back. All right, so let's see if you guys check it out here. Looks like we have pocket here, pocket here. And this is from that. Nikto, Nikto Tactical. I, I'm probably butchering that. I don't even really know how to say that. N Y C T O. So it looks like we have a pocket there. I don't know if that's a double mag pocket or not. Or if, yeah, it looks like it would fit a mag. Probably like a AR mag, but it's got the same on this side. I would say. Yeah, same on that side. And it looks like a admin. Yeah, it's got your basic admin pouch in there. Tighten this up to keep it. Nice pocket here, Somali. Almost looks like a radio, radio pouch. Nice little zipper apartment there with Molly there. So yeah, not bad. Got Molly on the front there with Velcro. And then on the inside back, we also have, if I get all the straps out of the way, we've got a pocket there, a belly pocket, I guess you could say. Yeah. But yep. Yeah. We'll go right across there. Now, it's called a C rig, but they always, you can't adjust it enough to come up to here, so it's, it's, it kind of ends up, you know, kind of a belly rig, really, if you if you want to be tactical about it but yeah not a bad item and uh came with a patch from nycto tactical so yeah not bad i mean you know really that's probably where most of the value of this box goes goes into something like this so i It's pretty heavy duty. It is double stitched. Well, at least around that edge. I mean, it's not bad. I, mean, I can't see no flaws on the materials or anything like that. I would say it's, I mean, it seems to like it's, it's definitely breathable. That's kind of nice. So it's not a bad item at all. It's, I'm actually really shocked to see this in a, you know, it fits a pocket box, that's for sure, because, you know, it definitely fits that genre. So, it's not bad. 
So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, not bad at all. Huh. And it's... I can see why we went a little... A little cheaper on, you know, on a cup. The values on a couple of the items now. Having this in there. Because I... I would say this is probably about a... $30, $35 MSRP item, probably, maybe, uh, if I had to guess, I would say, you know, $30, $35, I mean, it's, it reminds me of a Condor rig, you know what I mean, but, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's probably $40 range, actually, $35, $35 $40 range. Just my opinion, like I said, I don't even know, I haven't even been on the website, haven't even checked anything out. But if I had to guess, yeah. And it, it is 1000D nylon fabric. So yeah, I mean, it is heavy duty material. You can definitely feel it's heavy duty. So I'm gonna say $35 range, $40 range. So, I mean, $50 box, you know, you get the skills challenge, which these are always unique and fun. I, I really do like it. And, you know, out of all of them, I, all the boxes I get, I like their skill challenge. There's, they're always something very unique and different. So, but, yeah, man. Like I said, a $50 box. I think you get your money's worth, you know. Is there a mind-boggling, you know, value in it? I, I don't know. That I mean, you got some really, you know, I, I don't know how to price this i really don't know this is a ten dollar item I, i'm not sure you know i mean if this is you say this is ten dollars and this is 35 you know 35 40 dollars i'd say 35 probably for this and then you add in everything else yeah you definitely got your money's worth is a mind boggling value for it no no it's not but i like it i, li I mean yeah i'll use this i'll yeah, I don't know. We'll try that. You know, the field note thing. It'll get thrown into a pack probably. This I probably will play with around with and this I can see using this as a you know get home emergency bag or you know day hike item. You know, it's that's what's kinda nice about it. It's definitely something you could definitely use that as a get home bag or a, a day hike or even hunting. That wouldn't be bad at all. So yeah. And as far as the patch goes, we'll have to throw that on the wall. So, there we go. All right, guys. What do you think? I mean, it, it, it's different. You know, I mean, it's either... That's one thing about Pock Box. I know I've said this before. Either you like it or you don't. It's it's unique. It's, it's one thing I really do like, like about pocket boxes. I really honestly don't know what I'm ever going to get or what's going to pop up. And, and like I said, if you like this genre or, you know, this niche box, you're going to like a lot of the stuff that you get out of the box. And I, I for the most part, I have, I, you know, I'm actually turning into quite the fan of a pocket box. So Oh, what do you guys think? Comment below. Like it? Didn't like it? N not worth it? I don't know. I, you guys tell me. I, I'm really curious to hear what you guys are thinking. So, uh, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And like I said, comment below. Let me know what you think. And like always, guys, we'll catch you later.